Hey, so I, I know he didn't probably didn't do much of practice today, but you had a lot of snaps against Randall during training camp and all that. What 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 would it mean to get him back here at some point? I would mean everything, you know, just from contribution on offense and special teams. You know, he's just a veteran leader in the locker room. And I just remember our battles in training camp. You know, he definitely got me better, and it was cool to actually have him on my team versus going against him, which I've done the last two seasons. Wes from Packers.com. Hey, Chandon, uh, you know, now up to, I think, three picks already on the year for you. And obviously, we've talked in the past about your kind of growth in that slot position. But just where is your confidence level at right now? Just in, in what kind of strides do you feel you've made, you know, during this this third season now with Green Bay? Uh, I think I'm just taking advantage of my opportunities. You know, I'm able to get my hands on the ball and I'm just capitalizing. Uh, I trust our defensive scheme. And, uh, you know, my coaches are putting us in positions to make plays. So, you know, I've always been a confident guy. And uh, confidence is going to continue to grow as the season, you know, progresses. Bill, do you have another? What's, what's made you guys so good in the secondary? Speaking of you and Eric, obviously being a rookie, and Rasul coming on off of a practice squad, what, two and a half months ago? I think it's the way we prepare, man. Like I say, you know, Joe B uh, and the rest of the coaching staff, they we pay attention to detail. You know, we practice uh, practicing how you're going to play in the game. And uh, we take it very serious, and we challenge each other. You know, we always have little, you know, side, you know, not bets, but like just conversations about who's going to get a pick this week, who's going to make a play, and then what's your celebration going to be. So, you know, we just try to find ways to make it fun, and uh, it's paying off. Mike Spofford. Jandon, you got me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Um, we haven't had a chance to talk to Ja since he came back to practice. I'm not asking you to predict, you know, when he's going to get back in a game, but um, just what's what, what's your sense of how he's doing? What's it like to, to have him back uh, at practice on a regular basis? Uh, I definitely feel like we're getting closer. I'm not really sure on the timetable when to speak on that. But uh, just to see him around and just happy and energetic and being the leader he is, you know, whenever he comes back, we'll be excited to have him. We know he's the best corner in the game, and uh, we'll just see. Mark Daniels? Hey, Shannon, you got me all right? Yes, sir. Uh you guys know all about next man out, but what, you know what are you thinking now with uh, out having to deal with Thielen, Jefferson, you know Osborne still there? Uh, just your coverage thoughts, you know, without Thielen. Uh, it's still going to be a very challenge, a great challenge. Uh, they got a great receiving core and a good quarterback, so you know we're going to have our hands full. You know, got to stop the run first and then take away the explosive plays, and uh, hopefully we can do that this Sunday night. Tom Silverstein. Hey, Shannon. Uh, I, I don't think over the past two years you've missed a game. And then I, I'm even wondering, have you even missed a practice during that time? And even if it had been won, what, what's the secret to being so accountable? Uh, just trying to be available to my team. You know, I just take pride in, you know, my routine that I do weekly and recovering. And, uh, you know, just kind of being a little fortunate, you know, a little blessed on the side. So uh, I haven't missed practice. I haven't missed a game. Hopefully I can continue that, you know, the rest of my career. Wes, go ahead. Hey, Shannon, I think you might be the one guy that actually was able to kind of share a locker room with Rasul uh, before he got here. One, just from your perspective, what has it been like watching him have the success he has? And two, is there any area of his game that, that you've kind of seen really grow here in this this opportunity with Green Bay from, from when you were with him the first time? Uh, it's just kind of wild, you know, nothing he's doing that surprises me. You know, we kind of talked about this way back in 2018, just, the, you know, one day we're both going to share the field together and we're going to make plays together. So I'm just so happy for him. And I'm finally, you know, just happy he's getting his chance and the world's waking up to see, you know, what, what great football player he is. So uh, nothing surprises me. Tom, go ahead. Shannon, I think I went back and looked in your college days. You might have returned one punt. Does that sound right? <laughs> yeah, I think it was like one or two, not too many, but uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, apparently, apparently Mo has confidence in you and, and has been working you there. How did you get roped into that? And, um, you know, it, do you have confidence when you're back there? Oh, of course. You know, I've done it earlier in my career. Um, and also in college, I didn't do it a lot just because I played a lot of defense and the coaches, you know, didn't want me to do it. But uh you know, since I came here, you know, I told him, you know, I'm able to return the ball, and if it comes down to it, I got you. So I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in the scheme. And uh, if I get an opportunity, you know, I'm going to try to make something happen. So you kind of sold it to him that you want to do it? 
Uh, he actually seen me return in college. You know, I met Mo way back in, I don't want to say like 2017 when he was, uh, came to Georgia State University. He was actually checking out another football player, a uh, teammate of mine. And, you know, he just kind of remembered me returning back then and just asked me am I willing to, you know, step up to the challenge if needed. And I told him, I, you know, whatever going to help the team, I'm your man. Thanks. Mike Spofford. Um, what, uh, what is the added, if you are back there on punts in this particular game, what, what is the added challenge with having that duty in the weather, you know, single digits and what the ball is going to be like trying to catch it and all that? How do you get ready for that? Uh, if I do go back there, you know, I'm practicing it daily. And uh, if I get my opportunity, I'm confident. You know, the main objective is to catch the ball first and get the ball back to 12. So uh, that's what I plan on doing. And if, you know, I have a little space, I'm going to try to, you know, score, of course. Bill? Yeah, well, what, what do you remember about Osborne? Like, obviously, I would think he'll have a bigger role this game than last. Uh, I kind of already knew about Osborne a little bit. You know, I trained with him out in Miami, so I kind of knew what type of player he was then. And uh, his role has continued to grow as the seasons progress. I'm going to have my hands full in the slot. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun battle, you know. But we'll see what happens. I think we have one more. Wes, go ahead. Yeah, Channing, I got one more question about Rasul, too, if that's cool. Um, you know, going back to, to Philly, everyone always talks about his kind of work ethic and some of the study habits. Was that, you know, evident with him back then, too? And just is there any kind of pointers you've taken away from some of that? Of course. Rasul has always been a hardworking guy. I remember when he first landed in Green Bay, he called my phone. I had no idea we even signed him. He was like, hey, man, I'm in Green Bay. What's the playbook like? So I went and picked him up immediately. And day one, he was already in the playbook. And that's kind of just the type of guy he is. He never leaves the facility. We got to literally tell him to go home. And our coach made a joke about it earlier this season. He must be a single guy because he's always up here. So those are the type of teammates you want on your team. And, you know, his hard work is paying off. And, it's, you know, it's evident week in and week out. Hey, Shannon, one thing, if I can follow up on that, too. You know, you look at your story, you know, where you came from and, you know, kind of landing here in the middle of the offseason. What do you think it says about this secondary? You've had, you know, so many of you guys play as well as you have and, and develop the roles you have in this defense. You know, even if you maybe weren't a, a first-round pick or, you know, kind of weren't maybe a, a heralded sort of prospect coming in. That's what's kind of unique about our room. You know, it's undrafted rookies. You have guys who got released and picked up. You have first-round draft picks. And we all mesh together really well. And uh, like I said, our coaches are some of the best in the league, and they prepare us the right way. And it's showing, you know, week in and week out. We challenge ourselves to be the best secondary in, in the, you know, the whole NFL. And I feel like we're close. We're getting there. So.